Hi guys, so it's been a while since I made a vlog. So, um, yeah, I haven't been doing much and everyone's been asking me like, like, so how do you like spend your time? Really, it's been going by really fast for me. Like, even though I'm not doing anything right now because I decided I wasn't gonna work in the summer just cause like, so I did have a job lined up, but um, I didn't take it. Like it was a firm tech job just because like, everyone was telling me like I should just take a break and I should slow down because I've been like non-stop either in school or working and or both and volunteering all the above for like the past four years and now that I'm done my degree um, and I'm jumping into an accelerated nursing program in September this year I decided I should just take the summer off but um, I mean it's not that interesting because nothing's open I can't travel so I've just been taking the time just to like unwind and reset myself so with that said, it is now like almost the middle of June and I've been starting to do a lot of the prep stuff for my nursing program in September and um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about what an accelerated nursing program is. Basically a nursing program um, that gives you your Bachelor of Science in Nursing or um, just your Bachelor of Nursing. I think they're the same thing, I'm pretty sure they are, but it's equivalent to doing nursing for four years, so becoming an RN. But instead... Um, you just do two years and or less there's actually I think a few schools that are a little less than two years you can finish your accelerated nursing program and earn uh, a full bachelor degree in nursing but you can only apply if you have a bachelor degree or you're in the middle of your bachelor degree and you have the prerequisites that they ask for so um, it depends on the school that you're applying to but most of them you need um, you need certain science courses um, for sure and then you need like social science courses uh, stats I think um, some require microbiology as well so you just have to look at the specific school that you're applying to and then um, you can see whether you're eligible to apply and the thing is so they do accept uh, students that are not complete they're complete not have not completed their degree I did apply in third year and I did get in um, I applied to Trent's Accelerated Nursing Program and I got in, but I declined it. Um, that's another story in itself, but um, it's rare that you get in unless you have like a really high GPA. Oh, I also applied to U of T in third year and they rejected me. Like, U of T is, is a harder school to get into than Trent, and I'm just being honest, like some people might not think that's true, but honestly, given my own experience, it is true. So. Um, yeah, I decided I wasn't going to do that. And then fourth year, so the year that I'm in right now, um, within my last year of school, I applied to, I think, five different uh, accelerated nursing programs. So I applied to U of T, St. George. I think they have a different building for um, nursing uh, students called Bloomberg Health Science something. Um, so I applied there. I applied to Nipsing, so they actually have a uh, program called the Scholar Practitioner Program, which is equivalent to an accelerated nursing program, except um, it's called the Scholar Practitioner Program because their way of teaching is different. So it's actually really, really cool. Like I was super fascinated by that program, um, and not a lot of people know about it. And it actually runs downtown Toronto as well. So uh, most people think it's in like it's in North Bay. I don't know, like somewhere up wherever the main Nipsing camp campus is, but it's actually, they run their scholar pr practitioner program um, downtown. So that one I applied to, I applied to Trent again, I applied to Queens, and I applied to Western. So I got into all the schools, except um, Western, I didn't complete my application because by the time I they asked me for my final transcripts, I didn't want to spend the $15 and send it to them because I already accepted the program that I wanted to go into, which was um, U of T. So I did accept University of Toronto uh, it's a program in September, so that's where I'll be going. Um, so yeah, but actually I, I did debate between Nipsing's program and U of T just because they're both downtown and like uh, I didn't want to move out to uh, any other school. Like it was an option for me, but once I got accepted, I realized I didn't want to do that. Um, but yeah, then I debated between Nipsing and U of T for a while, and um, I decided on U of T just because uh, Nipsing's program is more new compared to U of T, and um, it's a different way of teaching. And by that, I mean a lot of the stuff is self-taught. Um, it's a lot more, 
I think it's more based on clinical, which is a very good thing because like you, a lot of nursing students say that they wish they had more clinical, which is one of the pros for their pro- program, except most of the textbook stuff you have to teach yourself. And there's not a lot of like solid courses and tests and exams. And um, because I've done an undergrad at U of T, um, Scarborough, I'm kind of used to their way of teaching, although it drove me insane for those four years. Like if you went to U of T, you know what it's like but um I kind of got used to it and I actually like being like taught because if I have to self-teach I think I could do it but I prefer not to yeah so that's what I decided on anyways I'm gonna jump into um how to how to apply to the um accelerated nursing programs and like what you need basically anyone can do it you don't have to have a science degree per se so long as you have the prereq courses you can have a bachelor of arts you can have a business degree um and whatever other degree you can have um but just remember that an rpn is different than an rn so um an rpn is you go to college and you get a diploma and you become an rpn versus an rn is a bachelor degree so i think if you are gonna go from college to university so from yeah so from college to pursuing a bachelor of science in nursing to become an rn not an rpn you need to do like another course on top um i think but like you you're gonna have to do like extra courses to meet the requirements because you have to have those courses at a university level but it's doable there are rpn to rn switching courses as well so if you're an rpn and you want to become an rn you can do that you need to um also make sure that you have a good gpa okay so if you have a gpa that is a like it meets the cutoff and a lot of the cutoffs are like around 70 to 75 percent um or like a 3.0 or higher you can apply um what's going to help your application is your supplementary part so you have to like write essays depending on the school you have to um do a casper test i forgot about the casper test yeah i wrote the casper test three times because i did apply in second year to trend as well i don't know if i said that i don't think i did uh i got declined i got accepted in third year yeah that's what i said Um, So I had some experience with the CASPER test. Um, I could talk about that another time, but you have to write your CASPER test. Um, Not all schools, I think, but most of them ask for the CASPER test. Um, You have to write an essay for some, a personal statement. You need to have references um, from work, from professors, um, and you need to have volunteer experience. So... If your GPA is lacking and you have amazing experience working in uh, health care healthcare clinics or um, a lot of hours volunteering or you're like involved in school a lot, that'll help your application, especially for U of T. Like I know a lot of people are like, oh, I need to have like a really high GPA to get into U of T. That's not necessarily true. Um, they accept students with lower GPAs if they have exceptional experience and if they have like a really good supplementary application. So yeah, um, before I applied, I was really intimidated by the um, supplementary part, like the fact that I had to get references from professors, I had to have work references, I needed to do a lot of volunteering, Um, I had to write about myself. I was intimidated, but it's actually a lot easier than it seems. So don't not apply to a program that you want to do just because you're intimidated by the process of getting in. Because once you do get in, um, it's like amazing. You're like, see, I could have done this. But yeah, um, it's it's not as bad as it seems is what I'm trying to say. And a lot of professors are actually really, really nice. And it's easy to get a reference from them. They really want to help you in that sense. So some require interviews. Uh, Nipsing required an interview and it's actually a funny story because I started to prep for my interview which was happening on Monday and um, in March and so basically you they look at your application they look at your supplementary ap- uh, application so your essays and everything and if they like you you get an interview so I got an interview and I was like super excited and um, and then the whole COVID thing happened so it was on Friday and my interview was on Monday so I already began preparing But then they emailed everyone saying interviews are canceled. And I was like, what? What? So I was really confused. We were all really confused. Like I talked to people in forums and stuff. And um, then they said that 
they're gonna make the decision based on what we already gave them whether you're gonna get admitted or not so I got to sit out the interview a lot of people didn't like that because it kind of ruined their chances to really show their personality in the interview which they wanted to do um, it kind of helps you but um, I was shocked that on Monday they actually sent out acceptances and they did accept me um, even though I really didn't think that like my supplementary application was really good because a lot of people I know going into nursing they're like oh my god I spent like two weeks writing my supplementary application and um, like, I'm really nervous blah 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 me on the other hand I wrote it in like an hour not even I had um, Imran edit it like just read it for me he's like oh this sounds really good and I just handed it in like I'm not one to like like stress over like I think if you're being real for your application it's really easy to do well so don't like try and fluff it up by saying um, I want to help people for the rest of my life like they, they see that kind of stuff all the time so don't be generic just be yourself be um, like unique and don't like try and tell them what they want to hear tell them um, okay that sounds more confusing don't tell them what everyone else is gonna tell them I don't exactly remember what I wrote but it was really easy for me that part and uh, but I was nervous because I saw everybody was spending like so much time and I was like oh my god like did I do this right but turns out I did so um, yeah if anybody wants to see my supplementary applications I'd be willing to share those as well so just hit me up this video is getting like super super long and I feel like I rambled for a long time but um, the reason why is because now is the time that I'm starting to prep um, and Imran has suggested that I actually start making videos more about like my nursing experience because he's like he finds me on YouTube watching other people's videos because like I like watching them to see how to prep how the um, what it's like like the day in the life of a nurse um, masters as well because I kind of like I want to pursue my masters I'm not sure if I'm going to but I want to pursue my masters at some point um, right now um, I don't know if that'll change but and then I also look at how they study, like what I need to get beforehand. So he's kind of like, well, why don't you make videos like that? Like, so that other people can watch them and maybe like you can help them out as well. And I was like, yeah, you're right. I should. So I'm probably going to be doing that a little bit more. I realize I've been touching my hair a lot throughout this video. I just don't know what to do with my hands. But anyways, yeah, so I have to get a lot of the admin stuff done in the next few weeks. And then after that, I start to like, I'm going to get to be able to do the fun stuff where I'm going to like organize um, everything that I need get all my accessories um all my scrubs all the fun stuff that like yeah that I'm looking forward to and so I'll probably try and vlog those because I I don't know if my family's interested in seeing it because I feel like that's the only people that watch this is like family right now and a little like my like two friends um but if like future nursing students end up seeing this then you're welcome but yeah so I'll be making more um nursing videos or nursing prep videos um, I'm gonna try and do like a day in the life of a nurse like as I continue with the program just because like I realize there's not a lot of information out there especially when it comes to accelerated nursing programs and I haven't seen any like at U of T or any like programs in Ontario actually so if like a future nurse wants to know what the programs are like um, I'm gonna try and document that okay so anyways I'm gonna get going thanks for watching